sunshine in store. So um, Lena's here to tell us about this warm forecast. It's not going to last too long. <laughs> yeah, um, today's going to feel like a distant memory tomorrow <laughs> and definitely towards the end of the week. So <sighs> embrace it. Take it all in. Get outside. Denise is firing up the grill. We're all going to her house later. <laughs> Denise, you're gonna get me a veggie burger, right? Oh, oh no, <laughs> I can't do the veggie burger. What just for me? All right, <laughs> anyways, weather. Uh, sunglasses today, rain boots tomorrow. So changes are on the horizon. In fact, we do have the potential for some locally heavy rainfall that could lead to some street flooding on Monday. So we'll get to those details in just a bit. Things will quiet down briefly on Tuesday and most of the day on Wednesday. And then a strong cold front arrives overnight Wednesday into Thursday. That brings those rain chances back and it brings in colder air to close out the week. So you'll definitely want that Fox 26 weather app. If any watches, advisories or warnings of that nature have to be issued, you'll get those right to your phone right away with that. For today, upper 60s, sunny and dry, light breeze out of the south. I don't think it gets much better than this in January and things stay quiet as we head into the evening tonight as well. Lows will be relatively mild, lower 50s because clouds and humidity will be on the increase in the overnight hours, but we stay mostly dry. Aside from a light shower leading into the morning commute, most of this arrives mid morning into early afternoon and then sticks with us throughout the evening. This is an area of low pressure that right now is off to our west. It's going to track west to east, so rain chances increase west to east throughout the course of the morning and into the afternoon. But because it's not that strong frontal boundary where we typically see severe weather with kind of that sharp edge of a cold front, yes, we could see some general run of the mill thunderstorms, some rumbles of thunder and isolated thunderstorms can't be ruled out, but we are not expecting severe weather. Closer to uh, Corpus Christi off to our southwest. They do have a marginal risk. That's just a one on that one to five scale. But for us, the main concern is the potential for heavy rainfall. Notice accumulating rain for us here doesn't really get going until after lunchtime. But the big concern here is that this is happening closer to the evening commute. And once things start to get dark, pay less attention to exactly where the blobs are here. And the fact that one to three inches of rain will be common less the farther east you go. We could see isolated higher amounts. These blobs are more important to pay attention to because this is the risk of the potential for street flooding, especially in areas of poor drainage, and that risk is higher in this area highlighted in yellow. So that's going to be west of 45. And of course, we'll keep you updated throughout the day tomorrow on that. Then that cold front comes overnight Wednesday into Thursday. We'll turn breezy behind that and colder heading into the weekend.